Welcome! This is the first video in the series of using LibreOffice to create a database using BASE. So I'm going to click on that to create a new database and clicking Next and I'm going to once again click uh, Finish button to save it and I'm not going to change any of the settings, everything is fine. The options we're not going to talk about in detail today unless I absolutely have to. And this one is going to be called uh, Music CDs. All right, CDs, oh, Music CD. And I'm going to save it in my drive C, clicking Save, and then click Finish. Okay, so the first step is going to be to create a table. I'm not going to use the wizard today. The wizard allows you to create databases from existing templates. Uh, very convenient if, if it works for you. But so the first thing we need to do when we create a database is we need to create a set of tables. And these tables will contain um, information that is related to that particular um, part of the database. So this is going to be a CD database. It's going to contain three tables. One of them is going to be for the artist. The other is going to be for the album. And the other is going to be for the songs. So we're going to start with the artist's um, table. And we're going to create it in design view. The first field is going to be the artist ID. And this is going to be a key field. So I'm just going to right click on this little error, or I'm sorry, it's going to be the primary key. I'm going to right click here and select the primary key for this. And this is going to have to be a number, an integer. And the next field is going to be the artist. And that's going to be text. The next is going to be the genre that this particular artist goes in, and the rating for this artist. Now the rating is going to be a numeric number, and it's going to have no decimal places. The length is going to be 1, because it's only going to be between 1 and 5. But for now, this is all we need. I'm going to save this table and give it the name Artists. And click OK. All right, so that's our first table. So I'm just going to close this one and let's change. Yes, and we're going to create another table. And the second table is going to be the albums table. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with album ID. This is also going to be primary key and will have to be an integer. And the next is going to be the title. Next release year. And that's going to be a number. And the length is going to be four with no decimal places. The next is going to be the format. And the next is going to be the rating. Okay, so the next one is going to be um, a field that already exists, and that's the artist ID in the other table and it's going to be related to it so that um, I can choose from the list of artists when I, um, or the album when I am populating this database. And it's going to be the same format that the artist ID was in the other table, which was an integer. And um, so we can just leave that. I'm going to save this and name it albums and click OK and close this. Okay, so now I want to go back to the artist table and I'd like to edit it so that 
this first item was actually auto valued because I missed that when I set that one up. And so all I did was right clicked on the table and selected edit. That has changed. All right, so now we're going to create the third table and the third table is going to be the one for songs. So the first item is song ID and it's going to also be an integer and it will auto value and the next is going to be the title and the next is going to be featuring and then link And the length is going to be a number, a uh, number of decimal places would be two, okay. And then after the length, we're going to have the rating, which is going to be a number, and it's only going to be one long. And then Oh, we need to connect to an album. Album ID, and that's going to be an integer. And we're going to save that. And save that as songs. And click. Okay. All right, so let's just close this table. We now have all three tables. The artist, the album, and the songs. Each one of these we could go through and simply add the information by typing it in, saying, you know, this is where this is the Beatles. Oops, one team Beatles. The genre is pop. And the rating data is five. Okay, so there's one way of populating this database. There is another way, and that's what's going to be in the next video.